woodcraft, helping you make wood work. Is everybody still awake? <laughs> okay. All right. So it feels nice and dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to one more time turn to our micro mess. Except now I'm going to drop the one. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Except this time we're going to polish it all the way through 12,000 again. It's real quick, real easy. Again, pay real close attention not to get it hot. Oh, uh, 32, 3200. Now, however, I'm going to go all the way through 12,000 again. Again, all we're doing at this point now, we're just polishing the polish, okay? If you want to, uh, on the rag that you're using to clean this, a little bit of denatured alcohol uh, will make sure that there is no dust at all on here, no kind of residue at all. And denatured alcohol contains very, very little water. Uh, so it evaporates away in a matter of just a few seconds, okay? So that's all the way through 12,000. Okay. So if anybody wants to take a look at that, it's time for me to take a drink of coffee. <laughs> Able to cut? Sure. Yeah. John, did you say the name of the wood was? It's uh, Beeswing Nara. Nara is the tree that you would find Amboina burl growing on. It's actually a uh, um, uh, South Pacific hardwood. Nara is actually the national tree of the Philippines, so it comes out of that area of the world. Uh, you'll find it in uh, uh, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Philippines, and grows in that, that region of the, of the world. Okay, now you would think that at this point we'd be done. We're not. <laughs> I'm going to take this one step further and I'm actually going to use a plastic polish. Okay? Now plastic polish at this point is perfectly appropriate because we've coated this wood essentially in plastic. Okay? So I'm going to use a plastic polish. Doesn't take very much. And so that I don't coat Don with uh, polish here. I'm just going to smear it on without the lathe running. I'm sure Don will appreciate that. Although Jim might get a kick out of seeing him coated with it. I don't know. Yeah. These guys are brothers. That's why I pick on them. <laughs> okay. Now, we are not... Those of you that, that, that turn pins already, don't confuse this stuff with a friction finish. Okay, we are not applying a finish. Our finish is the glue. This is just simply a polish.
okay? So it's not a finish. So unlike a friction polish, we don't have to worry about getting it hot and, and all that kind of thing, okay? We're just simply polishing the polish. Now see, the sheen is coming up very nicely already, okay? Make sure I follow the, the right number of steps here. Got to do it in the right order. <laughs> it is. It's a. It's it's a. It's a four-step plastic polish. Yeah. When did you start doing that? Pardon? When did you start doing that? When? After I do the micro mess on the on the finish, all the way through twelve thousand. No, I'm at, I'm at. Used to when we did the. See a finish, you know, put up that they were done. The more, I, the more I do it, the, the more techniques I find that, that work for me. I don't know exactly when I started using a plastic polish on it. Um, it works. So, but when I actually started yesterday, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Step number three. These go coarse, medium, fine, and extra fine in case anybody's wondering. You can also use, uh, there is a product over here called Hut Ultra Gloss, which is another plastic polish, and it will, it will work pretty well as, as well. I kind of like this stuff. Um, it just, it seems to really, really bring a nice sheen up on the wood, uh, a little quicker and easier, I think. Uh, I find myself using the Ultra Gloss two or three times uh, to get the same kind of sheen. Um, it just seems to, I don't know, I, I just like this better. I like to use this on, this, this works really well on acrylics of all different types, works on true stone. I haven't polished metal with it yet. I don't know if it'll work on metal or not. But it does work on lots of different types of plastics. So John, what's the name of that product? Why well, look at that, it's simply called Turner's Polish. <laughs> it's made by a company called Merca, which makes uh, Abronet sandpaper, or sanding mess, I guess it's actually a better term for it. Pardon? It does. In fact, if you look over your right shoulder, you'll see it hanging right there. There, Art, I did my commercial. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> if you have a pen that's uh, already finished, already put together its wood, um, could you put that type of uh, polish on it after you you would you would have to completely disassemble the pen and and put it back onto the and put it back on the on the lathe. Yeah. Could you do that? Yeah, sure. Could do that. Yeah, you could do that. I, I was thinking about if you could do it just by hand. On, on the no, no, you'd have to take it all apart, put it back on the lathe. Yep. As a matter of fact, I have a pen at home that I'm going to do that with. Sure. <laughs> no, no. Nope, it's not a friction polish. That's why I was saying, don't get... Just feel the way it looks. There's no, there's nothing that will tell you when you know. You just gotta, you just gotta get used to doing it. Did you use this after the I wouldn't. No. 
The problem with that is that a friction polish, if you start to polish with this, you're gonna you're gonna cut all the way through that friction polish, and then you'll be trying to polish bare wood with a product that's not made for wood. And there you go. So that is a CA glue finish. Nice. All polished up. Real quick and easy. Looks wet. I'll take that as a compliment. If your finish looks wet, that's a good thing. Unless, of course, it's still wet. <laughs> okay, now, one other quick little thing that you can do, if you want to, with a CA finish, is you can actually buff it. Okay, and I'm going to show you how that works, too. Now, you'll see... <laughs> This is one of the drawbacks to a CA finish. Okay? That's another one. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd my other barrel go? Oh! Okay. So you will very often find that your bushings will actually become adhered, just like you saw there, to your, to your pin blank. One thing that you always want to do, especially before you go to assemble it, is to check the ends and make sure there's no glue, no, no film of glue sticking out from the ends. This one probably won't have any because I just dropped it, so it probably all, all broke off. Okay, this appears to be nice and clean. Okay, so. I'm gonna take the mandrel off. And we'll take you through a quick little buffing. Now, you may or may not want to do this. Um, you can certainly get away without it. I just want to demonstrate how this works. If any of you have what's called the Beal buffing system, it's a three wheel system. That works very, very well on pen blanks. This was another piece of wood that we did a CA finish demo on several weeks ago. If you guys want to pass that around. Yeah, that's tulip wood. This is a really good way to practice a CA glue finish. Just take a piece of wood, turn it round, sand it as if it was a pen blank, okay? And then start putting CA on it, okay? If you like the way it looks when you get done, hey, more power to you. Nice thing is, if you don't, take a tool to it, strip the finish off, and start all over again, okay? It's a really good way to practice putting a CA glue finish on a piece of wood. It doesn't cost nearly as much as if you get a pin blank, tube it, uh, you know, all that kind of thing. Try to put a finish on there and find out once you've done that, it's like, okay, well, there goes a set of tubes. Just take a block, put it between centers on your lathe, turn it round, sand it, treat it like a pen blank, okay? So we'll charge the wheel. Now, you have to be willing to polish your fingernails, okay? Because <laughs> trust me, it's gonna happen. This is just a, a blue, like a jeweler's ruse. Wherever that question came from. Dean, okay. Now I like to buff pretty much in the direction of the grain, okay? Again, always trying to think of in the direction with the grain, okay? Woodcraft, helping you make woodwork.